Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, I'm so excited to be doing this because I saw this on someone else's feed before and um, I just had to learn how to do it and um, get all the information for you. So it's the Pringles party favor. Um, so this video is just the basics. Like how do I, what size is everything? And we're just gonna make sure we talk that through and then all the design ones we will do afterwards. But this is just the basics so that you can always go back to this video and get all the dimensions, okay? So let me put this up close so that you can see it. So I tried a couple different sizes. So let's talk through like what you see on the screen and what you see in my hand. So this little dome, it's, I thought it was gonna be like one of those cheapy elastic thingies or plastic, not elastic. Um, but it's actually one of those fillable ornaments. So if you go onto my Amazon shop, I so it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. There is a category for Pringles party favors and it will have the dome and the foam balls that I like to use. I'm this really makes it right these little foam balls inside and then you can see my design there this is neato labels stickers and then um i do recommend doing glitter cardstock because all of this is put together with a hot glue gun so all right let's talk through what you see on the screen so on the screen this um 10 and a half inches by 0.5 inches is this now so i the, the way that I do it, it's a little bit different than what I've seen others do, okay? Because I want, I want whoever gets this to actually be able to eat the Pringles. So it's really hard to open it if this uh, little band right here is below the Pringles cap. So the way I did it is you can put the glue on the actual ornament and then you can line it up with this and you'll see that the bottom is still, you can hear it, right? It's still open so that you can actually open up this Pringles can easily. I did not do that on my first few and I realized like that it's just decoration. I might as well eat the Pringles before I do this little thing. <laughs> um, all right, so this goes all the way around and it will go a little bit past the, the line. So it's gonna overlap a little bit, but you can't even tell it's overlapping. It's to me it's the perfect size so that's ten and a half by half an inch okay this bottom line i like to line it up with the bottom of my rim so that it covers the rim and then it covers any a little bit of the gap from the stickers because we're using print and cut you're limited by 9.25 um, for the length so that's going to give you a little opening back here just a little bit to me it's not it's not anything worth worrying about. So there's just like a little, little bit of a gap. You can kind of see it. But um, other than that, that's that's fine. And then like I was saying, this one is 0.3 inches. I like to have it up um, right where the rim is at the bottom so that it sits on the actual rim. I don't want it sitting on my paper cardstock. I mean, granted, I am using glitter cardstock, but um, I like it I like it thinner I don't want it too much because I want space for whatever party favor um, decor that I'm gonna put because this one is just a print and cut of you know saying thanks for coming but you might want to do something like this which I actually like this one way more so this is like a 3d cupcake with a balloon so you can kind of see from the side there's just you know there's stuff coming out um, and then I just used regular cardstock, like, you know, cute printed cardstock. So this was a Hello Kitty cardstock. Um, so yeah, so I definitely like that. Um, so you can do either one. And then let me see. Um, in, oh, the 3.8 inches is the white piece. So it's this. This is what sits on the actual lid. So then... You can put whatever you want in he on, on here and then the dome goes on top. So this piece, I've seen people do it different ways, okay? So I've seen it where they make this smaller so that it fits inside the dome. And then you glue the dome to the thing. I kind of like it bigger than the dome 
and it's just slightly bigger. So at 3.18, there's enough for the glue to come down and keep the acrylic like this so that you can keep all your like the foam balls in. Um, I just feel like it's better that way because I want to glue my dome. Whoa, sorry. I want to glue my dome to the paper. I'm using hot glue gun. I don't want it to go onto this little cap thing because the cap thing doesn't take glue gun uh, like the the glue the, all that well. I mean it it dries. Assuming that you don't mess with it, then it's okay. But as soon as you start messing with it, you can actually peel off your glue. So I want this dome to actually be attached to my paper. So that's, anyway, that's 3.1 inches for the circle. And I think we have, every, oh, inside the dome. So you see my Hello Kitty bow. And then on this one, it's a name, Charlo, with stars inside. So um, inside the dome, I would say the maximum height is 1.5. I did a little bit bigger than 1.5 and I could feel it as I put the dome down. I could feel it pressing against the cardstock. I mean, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, it's not a big deal, but then it's like you should have it not be pushing against your cardstock. Um, so 1.5, okay. All right, I'm just gonna show you how to get these pieces, okay? So your circle, of course, you're just going to go to shapes and insert a circle. And as soon as it comes up. <laughs> Alright, so here, I'm not going to mess with this button here to make it bigger or smaller. I'm just going to go into my size and do 3.18, right? So there's, there's my circle. Now let's do the top band. So you go to shapes, square. And this gets really, really easy. All you do is you unlock it, then go up here to your size, type in 10.5, tab, 0.5, tab, and there's your top one. And then I just duplicate this, or you can bring in another square, it doesn't matter. Unlock it, and then put in your next measurement, which is 9.385 tab, point three, tab, and that gets resized, okay? This is your print and cut, so whatever you flatten, you can put here. Um, I even have, let me, sh well, let's do the shape first. So let's go to the square. Unlock, let me move this down so I can see my measurements. It's 9.25 by 3.2, okay? Um, what was I going to show you? Oh, right. <laughs> so let me make that white. You could, I'm going to go to upload for a second because I recently uploaded it. I'm going to insert it. It's the actual Pringles cal calories, like nutrition, oh, nutrition facts. So you can actually have that printed here. I mean, of course, you need to trim this a little bit better, but you can have it here and print out. So I did have that on this one. So here's the front, which is thank you for coming to my party. And then here's the Pringles label. So if you wanted to, I've seen people do really cute things like changing calories to fun. And then over here, it's like a lot. <laughs> or whatever. Laughter, 10 laughs, like whatever. So you could do that or you could actually put in the actual nutritional facts. Um, Ah, my design space has been doing that quite a bit where things disappear. Um, if you have this image, like I have the stars, like I said, make sure that your height is under 1.5. And then, so if you're actually gonna put like foam balls, then I wouldn't worry about this so much. You can put as much of your glue gun. I used my glue gun and I just glued the heck out of these two points and it stayed standing up perfectly um, or the way I did the name for instance so if you were to do a name let's type in a name um, so I'm gonna do Charlo um, and then what I did was I brought in a shape a square and I want to make this line right here so I'm gonna unlock it and I'm gonna stretch it out so that 
my whole name is on there, okay, like that. And then what I did was I weld, oops, hold on. Uh, what just happened here? Okay, let me grab these two out of the way. Let me move it over here. Okay, let's weld that. And then what I did was I took my ruler and I put it right around here and I folded this so that I had a stand. So I glued that down and the name Charlo just stood up. So anyway, that's what I would do. I would take this, make sure it's under one and a half and you know your length or your diameter is 3.18. So in this case, while the height is okay, my length is too long. 3.5 is not gonna fit inside my dome. So I'm gonna need to make it under, I would just make it under three inches. So, all right, there you have it. Pringles party favor, here we come. So again, oh, let me type down my Amazon shop so you can see it. You can get all of the materials through my Amazon shop. So it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. Let me know what you think and let me make that more legible somewhere. Uh, let's make that a little bit shorter so we can see it. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, that's the dome, the little dome um, ornament dealies, the foam beads if you want to use them, and I would highly recommend using them. They are so cute, and the ones that I ordered, so mine, um, this one, I did, actually this one is available and I didn't put it under the Pringles can, but I'll add it right now. Um, so the, the one that I have is just like a rainbow, but the ones that I ordered that are in, in transit, they are separated by colors. So I feel like you can pretty much use it for any theme and they are so cute. They really make the whole dome thing. Otherwise you don't need the dome, right? If I didn't have these balls in there, I could just put Charlo and the rainbow thing without the dome and make it life so much easier for yourself and it's cheaper. So, um, you know, we're gonna be decorating both ways. I'm gonna show you both, uh, but I feel like if you're gonna do the dome, you might as well use the dome for something, which is like these balls or confetti, um, that kind of thing. All right, let me know what you think. Questions, feedback, this was lame, this was awesome. Uh, you know, I need to know because I'm gonna continue making more videos. <laughs> so at least let me know where I can, uh, you know, make it better. Uh, all right, I will talk to you guys later. See ya. <laughs>